Well, John, there were some mega hit movies this summer, but the summer box office is actually down about 9% from last summer, leaving a high bar for the studios to be able to close the gap with last year's record box office performance. And this fall, there are three key things to watch at the movie theater. First, Disney is expected to continue to dominate the box office after drawing over 36% of domestic ticket sales so far this year, with five of the six top movies of the year, including Avengers Endgame and Lion Game. And Lion King, coming up, it's got Disney's Frozen 2, Maleficent, Mistress of Email, Evil, as well as Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. They are expected to continue to build on their franchise successes. Now, second theme to watch, Netflix. This fall, it will make its biggest push into movie theaters yet, putting 10 of its movies on the big screen, including Martin Scorsese's The Irishman, as well as The King, starring Timothy Chalamet. This, as it chases Oscars and also tries to use these films to draw more subscribers to its service. Now, these films will be on the big screen for a limited release, less then a month before they're available for streaming, and also just in a handful of theaters, uh, more of the independent theaters after Netflix failed to secure deals with the big theater chains such as AMC and Cinemark. Now, a third theme to watch this fall is the industry is watching very carefully to see whether films that are not big, part of a big established franchise will succeed in drawing broad audiences and justifying a meaningful investment. The performance of Fox's films such as Ford versus Ferrari could impact Disney's future investment in this kind of standalone film, while Sony's Little Women and a Mr. Rogers movie starring Tom Hanks will be a real test of this kind of Oscar bait movie uh, with broad audiences. Now, it's worth noting here that Disney and Universal together control over half of all ticket sales in North America so far this year. So it'll be very interesting to see how some of the smaller studios perform this fall, and whether there's any indication that some of them could get snapped up. So we see this media consolidation continue.